Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, we're looking at counting across multiple sheets. And I want to count how many times the name Alan appears across these sheets. Now, the first thing to do in each of the sheets is to hold all the data in those sheets within tables. So to put the data in a table, all you do is you click in a cell in the data you go up to insert and then table. You get a little box here that just asks you to confirm the range of cells you want to store in the table. And you have this little checkbox for headers, just to confirm we already have headers, so I keep that ticked, click on okay. And then what you want to do is name the table. Now you name the table on this design tab that appears on your ribbon when you're in the table. Here's the table name box and I'm just going to type in South for that name. Now, I've already done exactly that for East. You can see the name up there, West and North. But Northwest is two words. And when you name the table for Northwest, you cannot have a space in the table name. But what you can do is put an underscore. So either no space at all or an underscore. Okay, now, then what you want to do on your summary table is enter the names that you gave each of those tables. You don't need to put an underscore in the Northwest name or any names that have two words. We'll deal with that within our formula. Then what you want to do is convert this to a table. So click into the data, insert table, Click on OK and we'll call that sheet names. You press enter to store the name. So let's build up this formula gradually and we'll start with the indirect function, which returns the reference specified by text string. Let's give you a simple example. If my text string was C2 and I press enter, it returns the word Alan. So in cell C2, is the word Alan. Now, if I said indirect and pointed at, say, east here, A4, and press enter. Now, in Excel 365, what it's doing is it's actually spilling its results down into surrounding cells. Your version may not do that, but these values are within the east table. So if I go to east, so you've got Bob, Angela, Bob, Bob, Angela, Bob. Now, if you're not in Excel 365, what you can do is select your formula and press F9 on your keyboard, and you'll see those results within a single cell. I'll undo that, Control Z. So I'm essentially being able to indirectly refer to a range or a cell via a text value using the indirect function. Now, what we want to do is to refer to all of the tables rather than just one of them. So instead of referring to A4, I'm going to refer to all of the cells in the table. And if I press enter, I do get these value errors. Now, don't worry too much about the value errors just for the moment, but the ref error is a problem. The reason why we're getting a ref error is because we have no underscore in this table name here or the reference to the table name so what we can do is use the substitute function and what substitute allows us to do with text so existing text which is returned by our sheet names table then we can specify old text now old text is what we want to replace and that's a space comma and then new text is what we want to replace the space with so we want an underscore if I close the bracket there, press enter, I'm still getting errors, but the value error isn't a problem. The ref error was a problem. Okay, so what we want to do now is to count how many times Alan appears across all the values that are being returned by these names. So we can use COUNTIF for this. Here's my range returned by the indirect function. My criteria is in C2. Now I can't select it because it's hidden. So I'll just type C2 in. I'm going to press enter. 
Now what that does in Excel 365 is it spills the results down into surrounding cells. If you're not in Excel 365, you can select the formula and press F9 and you'll see the same results. But what that is telling us is how many times Alan appears in each of the sheets. So I can check that out. So in the south sheet, it says two, so one, two. And then on the west sheet, it says once. So Alan only appears once in this sheet. Now, I don't want these individual results, although that may be useful to you. Uh, what I want to do is sum them up. Now, if you're in an Excel 365, you can just use sum to do that. And that will add up the total number of times that Alan appears across all of these tables. Uh, but if you're not in Excel 365, just use some product instead and that will do the same job. Now, one of the advantages of using tables is that I can add a value to the end of a table and the formulas that refer to that table will automatically pick up the new value. So I'm going to go to the south sheet and add Alan to the bottom of the table. And you can see the table kind of border drops down to include the new value. And this has increased its count by one. Similarly, if I was to add a new sheet, let's say it's for Southwest, and I'd have to name the table Southwest. So South underscore West. And then I went back to my summary table and typed Southwest in here. It would recalculate based on the inclusion of that new sheet. So this is a nice and dynamic solution to counting across multiple worksheets. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please do subscribe and I'll see you next video.